<laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how to prevent cakey foundation, I guess you could say. I had somebody ask me how can you prevent cakey foundation, cakey face. I seen this trick um, on my Instagram and I thought I should give it a try. And I did and it turned out pretty well. It did last me all day and it was... It was awesome. Keep on watching if you guys want to know how to keep your foundation all, all day and prevent cake. Okay guys, so step number one to preventing a cakey face and have a flawless finish foundation look is to prime. So I am using the one heck of a blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer by Soap and Glory. In the back it says the poor perfect answer. Deploy a small squeeze of one heck of a blot primer on clean skin. I did clean my skin before. Um, I only did my eyes, so I do not any. Uh, I do not have any product on my skin right now. Wear alone, under, over makeup, or dab throughout the day for touch-ups. It says avoid contact with eyes. If contact occurs, rinse immediately with clean water. Um, and it was made in Switzer, Switzerland. Okay, so I'm using that primer. I'm only gonna squeeze a little bit onto my hand. Well, yeah. Just a little bit, that much. I'm gonna take that onto my fingers and rub it together. I'm looking over here because my view thing on my laptop is right here. So, that's why you're gonna see me looking over here. Or down there or somewhere in most of my videos so I'm just gonna put that everywhere and I like this primer my friend gave it to me she's a makeup artist this primer um it feels really nice on the skin it feels, it feels really smooth and it kind of feels refreshing when I put it on so that's a plus so this is where the trick comes. We're going to be setting our primer. It does sound a little weird, but yes, we're going to be setting our primer with powder. So I'm just going to take the brush with a little bit of product that I have on there and just dab it all over. Some people don't like using um, foundation over powder, basically liquid over powders, but it actually works, it's not that bad. Now that we have that all set, we're going on to the foundation. I'm going to be using the MAC Longwear Foundation um, in the shade NW43 Pro Longwear Foundation. I don't know if I said that correctly, never so never. Squeeze probably two pumps at first never go with too much foundation at first if you have to build it up then you go ahead and build it up but don't ever go with too much because it's better to have little amount than too much you know what I mean I'm gonna be using my damped beauty blender and taking my little bit of foundation my hand and start applying it so as I apply it in this one section, I start to blend it in that one section. I don't think applying it on... Um, I don't know, I feel like it's better that way. Sometimes foundations tend to dry up faster. So you might want to work with it as you go. So apply it and then blend it. At my school, this makeup artist came in to give us like a little demo and like show us the tips and tricks. Of makeup and I've noticed that when he was putting on the foundation you know he was putting it everywhere you know that you might need coverage and then he then he went under the eyes so he basically left this blank right here with no foundation applied and then one with a concealer I still have leftover product People don't believe that I can use this much of foundation on my whole face. And watch how I can. Because I feel like I don't like heavy makeup. I really don't. Like, I understand why people would ask me, you know, um, how do you prevent cake face? Like, 
Having a cakey face has got to be the worst thing ever. Like, I remember for prom, boy, was my face cakey. It was really bad. It just felt like 10 pounds of makeup on my face. Everything good, everything good, perfect. So now we're gonna go on with the Cap Cap on D Lacquer Concealer um, in the shade Medium 29. I still have it in the box because I think I'm gonna try to keep my makeup in the box, all my makeup products that I get because they tend to get dirty when they're all together. So I am not trying to go through that all over again. We're gonna go in with concealer. And just cover that spot that we left blank. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just dab, dab, dab. I know a lot of people are really rough when doing their um face with beauty blenders. If you have a client and you are blending in their foundation or concealer with beauty blenders, make sure to be gentle. Be gentle with anything you're doing because. That person might not come back to you if you're constantly like punching them with your beauty blender like boom 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 like like literally people will be like and if you do makeup please get yourself a nice squishy beauty blender I went through this before I had some cheap beauty blender and it was really bad and when I did my cousin's makeup all the time I was literally almost leaving bruises on her face like it was really bad so I went and got myself a beauty blender for $20 and Sephora I mean it, it was kind of hard for me to actually purchase a beauty blender for $20 like who would think this little thing right here is $20 really my grandpas are always talking to me bye Blending is really, like, it's not hard, but it does take a lot of time. So, that is why half the time, half the people that I know, have people that I have on Instagram or whatever, they have, like, a really bad eyeshadow look or really bad, or, like, a, there'll be a spot right here that shows, like, you know, it's just certain things like that. You gotta, like, have patience with blending because I, I learned that the hard way, trust me, because... I never had patience to blend my foundation or my eyeshadow. Like I used to be like, okay, do I need to? Do I really need to do that much blending? Like, do I really need to? Hmm. But yes, blending is key. Blending is key. Like that's one thing I learned. Cause I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I will be soon. Um, I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I did learn that blending is literally the key to everything. If you just take your time and blend until you get tired, until you can't feel your hand anymore, that's when you know your makeup is coming out fleeky. That's when you know, like, it, it looks natural. Like, nobody wants to have some sharp-ass line from your contour. Nobody wants to have some sharp lines on your eyeshadow. Come on, sis. Come on. Blend until you make it okay and you are good to go these I will continue on to my face on video but I'm gonna make another video on the rest that I will be doing which is contour highlight and all that kind of stuff but yeah that is it for the, today's video I hope you guys enjoyed my little beauty hack um, I hope you guys are able to try it and I hope it works out for you I'll see you guys on my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Do whatever you want to do. But please, help a girl out. Okay, bye guys.